On this week's newscast, Sherry Kaiser gets recognized for her hard work. Fist Bump Friday continues this week. Band is preparing for their halftime show on Friday. And more on this week's newscast. Welcome back to MHS TV. I'm Daniel. And I'm Mackenzie. This is your news for Friday, September 8th, 2023. There are many academic teams here at MHS, and one that is just starting up is Spell Bowl. Spell Bowl is not the same as a spelling bee, and you do not have to spell anything out loud. This Friday is a home game, and the band will be performing. The show is about the Foo Fighters, and this week they add a new song to the show. The songs being played tonight are Learn to Fly and Times Like Thief. The students have been putting in work since the end of July, playing through the heat of the summer for two weeks and having practice every Monday and Wednesday. During the South Bend Cubs game on September 9th, the team is partnering with citywide classrooms to raise money to provide low-income families in the community with internet access. For each ticket the game sells, $3 will go towards the citywide classroom. Fist Bump Friday traveled to Hums last week. This fun activity allows high school students to interact with the elementary students and staff each Friday. Today, they travel to the Twin Branch. The MHS Assistant Athletic Director, Sherry Kaiser, was recognized by the National Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association as a Certified Master Athletic Administrator. Congratulations to Ms. Kaiser, and thank you for all your hard work. Congratulations to MHS students Amaya De Armand and Annalena Burstein for earning academic honors through the College Board National Recognition Programs. These programs honor hardworking students who are from rural area or black, indigenous, or Latino. A fundraiser called Beef Bash will be held on September 30th at Ironworks Plaza. All money from this fundraiser will go to helping fund the construction of a caveman statue for MHS. Only those who are 21 and older can attend this event. <laughs> Brady Fisher, touchdown! The MHS boys soccer team played Warsaw on Tuesday night. It was hot and humid that night and the Warsaw team played well, ultimately defeating the Cavemen. Last Thursday, the MHS girls soccer team traveled to Jimtown. The team tried their best but ended up falling 4-0. Next Tuesday, the team will play their second conference game at Wellfield against Northwood. Come out to support the team. The Cavemen Cross Country teams did not compete last weekend, but this Saturday they will race at Oxbow Park for the Minutemen Classic. On Tuesday, they will compete in their second NLC meet of the season at Warsaw. If you are attending tonight's football game, be aware of the following guidelines. There is no outside food or drink, no large bags, high school and middle school students must show their ID, and elementary school students must be accompanied by an adult. Last Friday, the Cavemen traveled to Middlebury to compete in their first NLC game against Northridge. The Cavemen struck first with a long Brady Fisher touchdown and maintained momentum throughout the entire game. In the last few seconds of the half, senior Trey Thomas caught a Hail Mary to go up 24-8 going into the locker room. The game ended in a 37-16 Cavemen victory. Come on out and support your Cavemen tonight at Still Stadium. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. and they will be playing the Goshen Redhawks. The Notre Dame band marched out at their first home game last Saturday. Two former Mishawaka students, Hunter Flick, now a sophomore at Notre Dame, and Abrielle Flick, a freshman at Notre Dame, are now in the Notre Dame band. Congrats and good luck. Fall is returning, so here are some local activities you and your family can participate in. Thistleberry Farm is a fun family activity. They have plenty of activities there are such as corn mazes, wagon rides, petting farm animals, a corn box to play in, and plenty more. They are open September 9th. And that's all your news for this week. Shout out to Landon Blevins and Mr. Ebright. And also Mariah Vara and Mrs. Stutzman. Have a great weekend, cavemen.